Good morning, late August 25th, the 2023, the Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Let it begin with prayer. Father, uh, help us, Lord, that this weekend we'll be victorious in you, Lord. Help us to be victorious as the lamentation of Jeremiah speak deeply. They will not do anything that will cause you to punish us. Rather, they will live righteous this weekend. They will be rewarded, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So this is word of the Lord, second verse of chapter one of Lamentation. Jerusalem cries bitterly at night with tears running down its cheeks. Out of those who love the city, no one offers it comfort. All of the Jerusalem's friends have betrayed it and became its enemies. Wow. Good news translation. All night long, she cries, tears running down from her cheeks. All of her former friends, not one is left to comfort her. Her allies have betrayed her and all against her now. What about King James? She whippeth sore in the night and her tears are on her cheeks. Among all her lovers, she hath none of to comfort her. All her friends have dealt treacherously with her, treacherously with her, and they are become her enemies. Wow. Once a friend, now an enemy. Once friend, now our foe. They have what? Betray, pillage, to act covertly, covertly. All the stuff that you shared, all the love, loving fellowship you had, and the secrets you share, they turn around and use it against you. They become the bitter bitterness. Wow, so sad, right? Book of Job 19, he has removed my brothers from me. My acquaintances have abandoned me. My kinsmen have failed me and my friends have forgotten me. Wow. <laughs> the opposite of love is not hate, but indifference. You are forgotten. Yeah, it was one time I was so sad that um, one of the the brother that I've known for 20 years and and then of course that mission and so we were kind of separated for a while and I don't know why he said that he said well Pastor o, we don't really talk about you you, you don't become any part of our conversation I mean but but God I we served the same church for 20 years right under oikos and you're my sheep for 20 years and really within the short few years that Oikos is never mentioned. And Pastor Robert is, is not part of the, your discussion, conversation, because you just became indifferent, like out of my heart. So, so, so contract-based, then there's no relation, no love, you know. Opposite of love is not hate. I mean, when you hate somebody, at least you're talking about them. When you in, become indifferent, it's like, I don't even think about you. We don't, we don't ever talk about you, sir. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, abandoned. My kinsmen have failed me. My friends have forgot me. Ouch. So it hurts. Psalm 6.6. 6, I'm weary from groaning. All night I flooded my bed with weeping and drenched my couch with tears. This is King, J King, King David. Psalm 31, 11, among all my enemies, I am disgraced. And among my neighbor, even more, I am dreaded by my friends. And they flee when they see me on the street. Oh my goodness, so sad. <laughs> when your friends see you coming on the street and they just go to the other side and go to the opposite direction. They don't want to be identified with you. Oh, that is so sad, right? And that's how Jerusalem nation Israel has become. Why? Because they sin against God. Psalm 77 too. In the day of trouble, I sought the Lord. Though the night, my outstretched hand did not grow weary. My soul refused to be comforted. There's nothing in this world. You hit the rock bottom. And when you look around, there's no one with you. All these thought, friends you thought you had, they're no longer with you. They're not hang on. They don't want to be with you. They they disown you. They abandon you. They've forgotten about you. You're all alone. You're being betrayed. Wow. 
feels sad. And the pulpit commentary and Alica commentary says, yeah, the nation Israel, they thought with this highly developed political maneuvering, they thought they were friends with Egypt, Edomites, Moabites, right? Ammon, Tira, Sidon, and they had all this MOU and contract and the kings and king, and they gave their wife, their, their children as kings and prince and all this stuff. At the end, it was all bullshit. It was like gone. Why? Because God lit up the favor. You know, all this stuff that you think that you're doing, like, oh yeah, I'm in the right lane. I'm saying the right thing. I, I'm just, I know all this friendship. I know all these leaders. I have all this connection. I got a network like you don't believe. I network with political arena, financial arena, all that at the end. It's all BS. Not Bible study, but BS. Why? Because it amount to nothing. Right? When God lifts up his hand. The national God was conceived as a husband of the nation. And the prophet retained the idea to elevate it. But now you're a widow, you're without any friends, without any protection, you are exposed. Judah has gone into exile under affliction and under harsh servitude. She dwells among the nations, but she has found no rest. All her pursuers have overtaken her in the midst of distress. The why it's called Judah, because out of the Judah, Jesus is born. It's talking about you church, you believers, you Christians, you go to church and think like, well, I've done everything right. And yet you are going to be under affliction, meaning poverty. That's what it literally means. You'll be spread out, scattered. What does all the wealth mean when you are scattered? You just become instantly, instantaneously poor. All your wealth is in the house, relationship, cars, buildings, computers, blah, blah, blah. The moment you are exiled, dispersed, diaspora, you become poor. Right? And, and the whole exile, the concept is in Leviticus 26, 36, 26, 39. Um, why? Because of your iniquities. You are being wasted away because of your iniquity. Wow, I should read this. It's so poetic. Your enemies will waste away in their iniquities and will decay in the sins of their fathers. Oh, those of you who survive in the land of your enemies, wow, even you survive your life being wasted away and your, your decaying of who you are will become your will decay your children because of what your iniquity your sin sin is something to be dread folks don't mess with sin then the lord will scatter you among the nations deuteronomy 28 64 you'll be scattered not gathered scattered this is what calvin Wright. jews had been scattered and sought refugees refuge 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 were oppressed as they were often by the tyranny of their enemies and then by degrees he advances to the exile the me real meaning then prophet here is that jews had migrated then is left at their own country fled to other countries because they were subject to, to miseries and cruel servitude What about us? How are we doing spiritually? Are we scattered? Are we being source of blessing? Or people talk about us, people betray us, leave us? Where are you spiritually? Are you in a place where you are source of blessing? Providing, nurturing, growing, or are you in always defense? Like, oh, who's going to take this? I, I cannot lose this. Do, your, do you have a relationship where people said, yeah, I love to be spend time with you. Do, you? do you have people who love to spend time with you because you add value to their lives and bring life to their situation? Or 
is it always like you 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 almost have to force it because they don't want to be with you or only by ranking or by position or you 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 have to provide everything when was the last time someone said hey can i treat you to a, a dinner because man you've been a source of blessing hmm. have you ever hit the rock bottom and then look around and say what happened where is everybody right and you kind of sense that it is due to your own sin it's you, you did that to yourself. Did you ever felt proud about your network and your connection? Just like Judah as a nation said, well, look, we are friends with Egypt, Edomites, Moabites, Tyra, Edom, Ammon, and Sidon, and, and Tyra, and, and all these like, oh yeah, I'm so-and-so's friend. I got all this wealth and I live in nice neighborhood and all these things. And then you realize it means nothing without God when God takes up his hand of protection. Affliction comes, the poverty comes, emotional, spiritual, and even financial just comes. And you become a destitute. Wow. So Holy Spirit, God, we want to live abundant life in you. Oh God, uh, let's reflect on our own lives. See if we are sinning against you, sinning against others. Uh, we're not really helping others, promoting others. So Holy Spirit, God, speak to us, minister to us, that we may realize your goodness and your mercy, that we may follow your footsteps. We thank you, we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord bless you. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a book talk.